Hello everybody, it is Magma and I'm here with this brand new Q&A LEGO video. So today I'll be going ahead and answering some of your questions. Um, of course, I didn't want to make this too big, but I, um, I did want to answer some of your questions such as common questions that appear in videos, uh, frequent questions and all that. So clarifying and answering some fun questions. And uh, surprisingly, the top question that I got was my top favorite minifigures and my top favorite sets, uh, top 10, top 30, all that. So actually, I'm going to redirect you to individual videos. I believe there is, I think there is an old video where I do uh, my top favorite sets, and there is definitely a recent video about my top favorite minifigures on the channel. However, um, my top favorite LEGO set is the Republic Cruiser from 2007 and my favorite minifigure is the Clone Trooper Lieutenant from the uh, Hellfire Droid and the Polybag. Um, so that's that. Um, so another question that I got was, what do I think about the new summer sets? Uh, which will I pick up? And he also asked if I do a collection video. A collection video I've already done several uh, actually one that was pretty recent so I don't think of doing one anytime soon but uh, hopefully when my entire Lego room is back on track and I've done rebuilding all the sets uh, so far I'm, I already need to get them delivered here they're still uh, in the moving process so once everything will be um, settled down I'll definitely go ahead and do that and um, which sets, uh, which, uh, what do I think about the new summer sets? Well, I think most of the Force Awakens sets that they've released are unnecessary. I didn't find any of them, like, actually interesting. The uh, clone um, Captain Rex ATT, it looks like a, there's no other word, I'm sorry, Lego, but it looks like a piece of junk because it just looks like a regular ATT but me having put in plates around it and that's that's actually what it looks like so it's good they did a good job on it but in my opinion doesn't look really good and I wouldn't find a use for it uh, however the new X-Wing looks good uh, looks normal because I didn't get that uh, special X-Wing because it didn't really look normal <laughs> the uh, new turbo tank definitely I'll go ahead and pick that up um, those new weird uh, sets from the new type of Yoda Chronicles, I'll definitely not be picking those up because that's not Star Wars, unfortunately. And the TIE Fighter and X, uh, and A-Wing, I think it is, uh, that set looks really, really, really cool, so I'll definitely go ahead and pick that up because uh, it looks like fun. It looks, uh, it's actually been a long time since we get two ships in a set, so I'll definitely go ahead and pick that up, even though the A-Wing looks really chubby, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, another question that I got, what were my top uh, sets between 2005 and 2007? In 2005, I think a really cool set was the Turbo Tank, with light up or without. Um, both seem to be good sets. 2006, well, there, I just love the entire wave, but I think the B-Wing is a really cool one. Um, I did give mine a few modifications on the head for it to look better. Uh, however, it is a really, really cool set. And 2007, well, the Republic Cruiser, um, an amazing set. I have, I don't really have to explain myself, I think. However, yeah. And um, actually, that same uh, user asked another few questions. Um, what do I think? Do I prefer Star Wars Rebels or Star Wars The Clone Wars? I definitely prefer Star Wars The Clone Wars because even though Star Wars Rebels is interesting, Star Wars The Clone Wars was more of a larger subject. There were more stories to tell. Um, it wasn't always about the same heroes getting uh, into some sticky situations and always be able to handle it. In The Clone Wars, many times they could not handle the situations. And Star Wars Rebels uh, overall... Um, in my opinion, it feels a little bit young for me. Uh, it feels like a, for much more of a younger audience. However, I do watch the episodes and there are a lot of fun. So yeah. So I prefer Star Wars The Clone Wars, uh, by far. Um, will I be picking up the new uh, 2016 Turbo Tank? Definitely. I don't think I'll miss out on that one. Looks, uh, looks great and will I compare it to the 05 one? Definitely. 
that's a, a video to look up for. And another question was, uh, what is my favorite Star Wars Rebels character? I'd say Rex, however he doesn't appear as much. So a genuine Star Wars Rebels favorite character would be Agent Callus because there is so much to him and well that we don't know yet and he looks like a fun character um just checking out the list uh, I didn't really get this question however I felt like answering it um, lightest ship what is the lightest ship I own I didn't really get it um, but if you're thinking of a ship that's good size and not very heavy I'd say the droid gunship Another question that I got, will I be getting the new uh, 2016 Spider Droid? Um, absolutely not. So I'd love to get it and compare it, but lately um, I haven't been a in a good position to actually get sets cheap. So here's the way I'll put it. If I can get it cheap, um, such as a US regular price or a price that's not expensive, I'll definitely go ahead and buy it if I have leftover money otherwise I don't think it's worth it at all it's the same as the 2013 one with uh, the stud Gatling gun so if you guys are into that yeah and ask me the same uh, questions uh, or similar questions uh, good says from 1999 to 2004 in that uh, time period I think the Hellfire droid a Technic one was a good set, the old at, -AT that was a really good one. Um, the UCS Star Destroyer was a good set and a good price, uh, price to value set was the Y-Wing and TIE Advanced. Um, that was a really really cool set that stayed for a very long time. Uh, definitely suggest picking that up to anyone who's into collecting old LEGO. Uh, question or series of question number six I think I am at uh, this question is asking me if I'm going to if I have stop motion if I will if I if I will make one I think um, so I definitely do have a few stop motion videos on the channel uh, I think one or two shorts and I did make one long one I don't really like my stop motions I think I could definitely improve and that's actually what I'm actually working on and there are definitely some cool upcoming stop motions I just gotta find the time and patience to actually get those done um, series of question 7 uh, what is a uh, first Lego set and first Lego figure well it's very simple my first Lego Star Wars set ever was the clone trooper battle pack the original one so uh, that's why there is a reference to that in my 10 year anniversary video and uh, so yeah, and so technically my first LEGO figure was the clone shock trooper from uh, the, that clone battle pack because it's the f first one I built. Uh, I still remember that day. And um, my our like my brother inspired me to get into LEGO, and his first LEGO set was the Star Destroyer. So uh, that was his first set that started the uh, fanatism between both of us. And. Uh, quick last question, can I, or I felt like clarifying this question overall, so no more questions be asked. Um, can I sell overseas, can I sell by eBay and all that stuff? I cannot sell because I'm in, well there are some stuff, some minifigures and stuff that I'd love to sell because they're worth something and I have no use for them or I have them in duplicates. Um, I'd love to sell them but where I'm at I can't because I don't have access to eBay and no, I don't have access to Amazon either. Um, I can buy from Bricklink and ship that to my family's house, but I can't ship it to my house, if that makes sense. Family as in grandparents. Um, and even if I try selling my stuff through uh, eBay and stuff, I couldn't ship it because where I'm at, there is no eBay. Um, I have like these um, sites around, like there's one called Mercado Libre. Mercado Libre, I think, yeah, and it's uh, it's online sites for Latino America, and Lego is expensive here, so, and uh, there's very little um, buyers, professional buyers, or they will actually uh, buy, so 
I can't sell to any of you guys. I could sell by myself, but it wouldn't make a big revenue because I wouldn't get uh, customers that would pay the actual price. I think I'd probably get um, little little kids or maybe a few professionals, but nobody who who would be willing to pay the actual price for what I'd be selling. If that makes any sense. <laughs> So yeah, I hope I clarified a few questions in this. Now I have a few more questions or uh, little fun facts about the channel that I'd love to fit into this video. So yeah. So one more question for you guys that um, this is a question that a lot of you guys have been asking for a while. Uh, not necessarily in this video, but in a lot of reviews and it is which microfighters and buildable figures do I buy? Um, now, as far as microfighters go, people have asked me if I buy only the ones with clone troopers, and the answer is no. I buy the microfighters that either have many figures that I require for my collection, um, such as the Arc 170. I bought a few of those to get some pilots for my a actual uh, Arc 170 sets, and um, so it's for many figures that I need. Or if sometimes the set kind of looks cute, then I'll buy it. So that's how I choose my microfighters. Uh, seeing the microfighters coming out in 2016, I don't think I'll go for any of them, but it could change. And which buildable figures do I buy? Well, so far I've bought Grievous, and I'm really happy, and it looks amazing in the collection. However, I'm not a big fan of, I actually honestly really don't like any of them. Maybe I'll get a first order stormtrooper, but that's at max. I don't plan on getting any of them, so I hope you guys aren't expecting to see any of them around in the channel because I just really don't feel that those are Lego at all. So yeah, that's a little clarification for some of you guys. Alright, so here I got some uh, little fun facts about the channel and stuff. Um, and myself, that would allow you guys to understand a bit better why stuff happens. Um, what? So I thought I'd just point out what languages I speak because sometimes um, very time I've tried making videos in different languages, haven't uploaded any, and sometimes I make references in different languages. Um, so cl to clarify that up, I speak English, Spanish, French, um, I know quite a bit of Mandarin, and I am currently learning Portuguese, uh, so yeah. And lately, I've uh, in the past uh, 10 years, I've been living around Latino America in different countries, so that explains why I can never uh, get or uh, simple good deals or simply just go to my Walmart and get the new sets so I have to work with that um, and I also wanted to point out some sets uh, so in the next upcoming year here are some sets that I will be looking to get which are old so um, well here it goes okay so here are some sets that I plan on buying in the next uh, year uh, one of these is actually planning on a more of a long term, but this is just g gonna give you like not a, not a sneak peek because I'm not sure of getting these sets, but this these are plans ideas. So these are sets that I'm looking forward to possibly getting in the next year. So reviews that you could be expecting, or to appear in a Lego haul. So my uh, the one that I'm most uh, look mostly looking forward to which is an old set these are all old sets because new sets don't really count in this list um, the Defender Jedi class cruiser from the new Old Republic is a set that I'm dying to get right now um, I'm also looking for the Coruscant police gunship uh, which is a really, really cool set um, there's the ARC 170 Starfighter from 2005 that's uh, I've always wanted to get that as a kid so I'm I'm thinking most likely I'll go ahead and get that. The Planet 10T4 is a cool one that I'd like to get as well with uh, the Acclimator, the Coruscant and, uh, and Planet Alderaan. I, I did want to get all the planets but they're kind of expensive for what they are so I need to find time to go ahead and get those. There's the Y-Wing and all the TIE Advanced so that that's one set uh, I'm not li I don't really like it I don't really want it but I think it'd be a nice addition because it's a classic of the old sets so that's something I did think about uh, definitely I'd I'd go ahead and find a good deal on Cloud City I've already found one which was at 
It was complete. It was missing instructions and box. And it was at, what was it, like $100 uh, where I was back before. However, uh, I didn't buy it because I never felt the need. I, didn't really, I never really liked Cloud City. Uh, however, I'm thinking if I find it on a good deal, I'll definitely go ahead and get that for the review and then possibly get rid of it because it's one of those sets that I just don't understand why so many people like it. Uh, I'll definitely go ahead and keep the figures though because those are kind of cool. Um, I'll go ahead and get some original Clone Wars sets that I've missed on in the past uh, few years. So that's, so that's something nice. I think a lot of you will like those reviews. And there's a long-term uh, set that I want to get. Long-term as in I every, every time I get some money, I put some money aside. And it is the 2005 Death Star 2. That's a set I've been wanting for a long time. I'm putting money aside every time I can, so I'll go ahead and hopefully get that in uh, the next uh, three years maximum. Uh, so that's that for the uh, upcoming sets. Something else I'd like to I'd uh, love to point out is that I my upcoming studio is going to get back and uh, in one month definitely it should be up uh, by that time I'll go ahead and get some new equipment which I'd I'd uh, have loved to get in the past year and I'll definitely be getting such as a better lighting system so if you guys know Jang Bricks Solid Brick Studios uh, Brick Builder um, I will have similar quality equipment which means that I'll have similar quality video uh, lookings, if that makes sense. So I'll have a white background, I'll have uh, white clear lightning, lighting, so you'll be able to see the set better, you'll be able to have a better look at what I'm presenting to you guys. So that's something I'm working on, uh, definitely hope it will help and improve the channel, and I'll be looking for your feedback. And um, now, quick, uh, I want to end off quick little update, um, which is uh, my moving. So for uh, a lot of you guys that have or haven't been uh, following this up, I've been moving from uh, one country to another, which is a lot of work, which is why videos have been lower quality, uh, studio has not been up, and uh, other factors like so. So um, my mo my entire LEGO collection is actually in a... Um, in a big box traveling overseas if, uh, on a um, on a shipping boat. It's being shipped. Thank you everybody for sticking around and watching this video until the end. Uh, I had some fun facts about me. Uh, great questions from some of the fans and subscribers so definitely hit a like or uh, comment a few of your thoughts on this video and well thank you guys for sticking around and i will see you guys next time here on the magma series channel in another video bye, -bye.